Hello. Hello again. Well, because I'm unboxing a Vax carpet washer, I thought I'd do my trademark creepy appearing from around the box move. Ah, uh, this box, pretty heavy, but it's not as big as the Vax Jewel V Advance that I unboxed and demonstrated last year. Today I've got a new Vax to have a look at. This is a Vax Dual Power Pro. Power, powerful performance. Powerful performance for total home cleaning. I believe there'll be a little bit of assembly with this. I think it's a question of attaching the handle perhaps. I'm not sure. But we're going to have a look at this machine. I'm going to unbox it, assemble it, and we'll have our first look at this new Vax carpet washer. Now, this particular carpet washer doesn't belong to me. It belongs to my mum. Now, Vax fairly recently, depending on when I get this uploaded, but fairly recently Vax did one of their damaged box sales, offering huge discounts on a selection of products. Anyway, unfortunately I didn't get anything. There was a particular vacuum cleaner I was after, but I, I didn't buy it because I was well, not promised, but Vax did say I was on their waiting list to get um, a demonstration or a sample so I could do a review. So I didn't buy one. So hopefully I'll still be getting one. But I will, uh, of course, if I do get one, I will be telling you about it. So anyway, I, I posted the details of the Vax factory sale on my Facebook page. My mum saw it, rang me up. Do I need a new carpet washer? Well, thinking about it, she didn't really, but I think I sort of persuaded her that yes, she did. But this, I'm sure, well, I'm hoping, this will perform better than her old Vax Oasis Complete. I did a test on that long ago on my channel in my mum's house. So this one, hopefully, will be a huge improvement because it, because it has the dual tech brushes. So unlike the Oasis Complete that has just the spin scrub brushes, this Dual Power Pro has the Dual Tech cleaning system, so it has a row of the uh, normal sort of brushes, like you get on an upright vacuum cleaner, and behind that you have a row of spin scrub. So it's basically double the cleaning, so it's two different cleaning actions as you're cleaning. So in theory, it should clean every part, every fiber of the carpet. Of course, a full demo will follow at some point, but today it's just the unboxing and assembly. Now, so anyway, as I said, my mum got this in their damaged box sale, but looking at the box, well, there's hardly any damage. Well, no damage that I can see anyway. So, it was a lot cheaper to buy in their sale. Why buy me back say well, it's got dual tech cleaning system, extra large tank capacity, quick drying dual V technology, stretch hose for cleaning stairs, powered hand tool for focused cleaning on upholstery and stairs, and heated cleaning directly applies hot water and hot air to carpets. Ah, oh, it's got a six year guarantee. Now that's good. Six years. So I must make sure we get the guarantee registered so we can take advantage. If you're interested, the model number is W85PPT, made in PRC. So, the first thing we get out of the box is, of course, the instruction manual. Let's get started. Always best to look at that before you start washing your carpets. You really need to study the instructions. So this is one of uh, Vax's new and improved manuals. It just looks like there's very little assembly needed. Just have to attach the handle and twist the locking device by the looks of it. But anyway, it all seems fairly straightforward. Okay, we can see the top of the box. Now, I do apologise, I'm still recovering from a bit of a cold. So, I might have to keep pausing to have little coughing fits. So, with this particular model, 
you get two bottles of solution. Now I'm not sure if they're both carpet or is one, yes they are both the carpets. I think this machine does have a hard floor washing facility. <clears throat> so you get two of the Vax Ultra but you only get 250 mil of the solution. So I would advise, what well, I did advise my mum when she bought this, I suggested that she bought some more solution because there was some solution in the sale as well. So we have got another big bottle. This is 40 mil of solution per litre of warm water. I'm not sure if this machine mixes the solution, we'll have to see. Um, I'll see what it says in the instructions. But like I said, <clears throat> Along with this Vax came this little box here, which I assume, so look, we get a double unboxing, I assume will be the spare solution. And I suggested my mum, because she's got pets, now Vax of course do a pet solution, but I suggested she tried the sanitise solution, which is this. Let's just take the cardboard collar off. So here we go. This is what my mum bought as well. A full size bottle of Ultra Sanitize. So it removes embedded dust and dirt. Our toughest sanitized carpet cleaning solution. So I'm assuming I give it a sniff. Mm, I can't really smell very much at the moment. <clears throat> I think it is designed to, to kill germs as well. And with pets, bringing anything in on their feet and, you know, horrible things. Hopefully, this will leave the carpets clean, fresh and sanitised. Right then, let's see what we're going to do with this. So, take the first bit of packaging off. Now, I can't take that off, I'll take this out first. There's another little box here. Which, oh yeah, I'll open it this way. Yes, this must be the way you open it anyway. So it looks like we've got some of the smaller cleaning tools. So this is the first tool. This is your regular hand tool. I've seen that on many Vax models. So this is for doing your upholstery and your stairs. Might be able to do curtains with it. Just has a static brush. There's a suction channel at the front and of course the, the spray of solution comes out via the handle on the hose, <clears throat> pardon me. So that's the first small nozzle we get in this package and we also get the powered, and this is a bit different, I've not seen one like this before. On the last larger carpet washer that I tested, the Vax Jewel V Advance, it has a powered hand tool, it looks very like this from this angle but instead of just one large spin scrub brush it has two so this one instead of two has one so I wonder if that, that's going to rotate faster, I'm not sure but that does rotate when the machine's on, it has, it like a turbo brush rotates the suction of the machine powers this so that rotates to help deal with more ingrained dirt so you can again, you can use that on your stairs. Some upholstery you might be able to use it on if it's not delicate upholstery. You couldn't really use it on your um, curtains. Inside your car that would be probably quite good on your car mats to help remove any ingrained dirt. So that's the other hand tool you get, the powered hand tool. And you get a handy bag with this one. A handy storage bag which houses the, the um, hose, there's a, a little put drawstring to keep it all neat and a little hook to hang it somewhere in your cupboard or in your wardrobe perhaps. I'm not sure if this claims to go right up the stairs but it's a stretchable hose, it's clear. I'm not sure if it is, a, I don't think it's as complete it says on the box stair cleaning hose, but I don't think this is, I'm not sure. 
Anyway, compared to my mum's old Vax Oasis Complete, which was a bit fiddly to attach a hose to and she couldn't work out how to do it, I believe this one's a lot simpler. There's a little flap on the bottom of the machine and you just have to, I think you just push it in. Move the flap, push that in and the hose connects up. So you can see how it connects up. Suction and then this is where the solution comes into the hose and then of course there is a, a thinner tube inside the hose that carries the solution but I don't think that will go up her step no I'm not that is certainly not stair cleaning hose you can clean some of your stairs but it will not I'm sure I will confirm this in my full review but I don't think that's going to go up the stairs I believe they do a model that does go up the stairs now what else is in this box you have to be careful with sometimes when you're unpacking things because you could easily just discard this and not realise there's something else. I think this will be the squeegee to use if you want to use it for washing hard floors. I don't think this will get used. I'll probably use it in my demonstration, but as far as my mum's concerned, she won't be using this. Yes. This is the squeegee that you attach to the front of the nozzle when you're cleaning hard floors. So there's that. <clears throat> Right, quite a lot of bits. It's a good job I'm here to assemble it for my mum. Here is the clean water tank. <clears throat> so quite a large capacity, certainly larger than the, the dual power I tested first, the smaller dual power. You do have a rinse setting, so it does must have a separate uh, solution tank, turn the dial for rinse and that way for wash. Yes, yeah, so it's got auto mix technology so this side you put the solution and the other side you put water. Right, still more, still a lot more to take out of the box. Let's first of all let's remove that bit of packaging and here we have the handle. And it does, it's, oh, it's got a nice metal handle. It's not all metal, but there is a metal part to it. It does, it does feel quite, quite robust. So here's the handle with the solution trigger. Press to open. I'm not sure where I press, but I'm not sure what that's about. Obviously one of the hooks for the cord storage. And um, this is the handle lock. So obviously when I've put the handle in position, I'll need to turn it to the locked position. So that's, that is the handle. I think it's time for the rest of the machine. Now, <clears throat> I don't know what the best way of doing this is. <coughs> I think I'll lay it, lay it down actually and we'll pull it out onto the carpet that way. Right, this new Vax Dual Power Pro is soon going to make its YouTube debut. Well, its YouTube debut on my channel anyway. Now, come on then. There we go. nicely packaged. So obviously, despite the fact this was quite a lot uh, reduced, uh, had a heavy discount, there's obviously nothing wrong with it. Has the full six year guarantee. And in fact, there was nothing wrong with the box either. Right. Whoops. A little bit of protection, I think that was over the spin scrub brush. Yes, it, does, it is quite a hefty beast. Um, my mum did complain about the weight of her other one. I think this will probably be as heavy. But of course, they are very heavy when they've got the water in. But if you, know, if you need to carry them upstairs, what I've said to my mum and what she has done with her old machine, she's removed both tanks 
um, which makes it lighter for her to carry up the stairs. But normally I do the shampooing for her. She will use this um, herself downstairs to clear up after the dogs in the living room, but when it comes to doing the stairs and upstairs, <clears throat> I will do that for her. Right, so there we go. In the uh, traditional Vax colours, well, it's got the orange, at Vax's trademark colour, orange and grey, does seem quite robust, quite sturdy. This is the flap, oh, that's, that's nice, it's, it stays open. Little flap at the front that you pull in order to, to connect. And the gap goes in that way. Turn to, wash, turn to wash mode on top tank to begin cleaning. Anyway, obviously in the proper demo I'll be showing you all of this. But I'm just having a quick look myself. So that's where the hose plugs in, but it's definitely on this model it is, it, it's not going to fit up to the top of the stairs. It's got an 8 metre cord, so that's good. Now it says it, says it comes with a 4.6 metre stretch hose, but there is absolutely no way that that is 4.6 metres. No way. So that's disappointing that it will not. Again, in the full review, I will actually go... I'll go to the foot of our stairs and I will pull this and see how many stairs it goes up to, but I can tell you now, that's not a stair cleaning hose. So a little bit misleading on the box there. So that is a little negative. I think Vax do a model that, a total home version, that they say goes up the stairs. But it does say on the box, 4.6 metre stretch hose, but no, it's clearly not. Anyway, it's a little bit disappointing. Of course we've got, this is the dirty water tank here. Um, just try to fiddle about with it, that's it. Everything will be rather stiff when it's new. It's got the float valve inside that obviously shuts off the suction when it's full. Now there's a <coughs> lift. Just having a look to see where you empty it. I mean, there's a catch on the back here. I think it's just because, oh, there we go. Oops. So that, the whole top comes off. So you can empty that. You've, you've got full access to that as well for cleaning it out because obviously it will get dirty in there. Especially if your carpets haven't been cleaned for a long time or at all. So it is better, the dual power that I first looked at, the dual power total home, which was the smaller, lighter version, you couldn't open this, not without some sc uh, screwdriver. There was a little um, stopper that you removed to tip the dirty water out, so there was no access, easy access, like you have with this one. So that's an improvement. You will be able to give it a good clean. So that fits underneath. Another good thing about this model, which again is an improvement over the previous smaller dual power, is this nozzle is easy to remove. We've got a pull to release here. That will of course get all gunked up, especially if you've got pets. And so that comes off and you can give that a good wash from time to time and keep it working efficiently. And then it'll just assume that's it, just clicks on neatly like that. It's dual V air path, so it is supposed to give full suction across the full width in this sort of a V shape, but it's an upside down V. So that's that. And underneath, this is where the magic happens. This is why, hopefully, this machine will do a very good job. Now that, they look very good. Now those brushes, not quite as dense as my SIBO Duo dry cleaning machine, but they're fairly dense and they're, they're fairly, fairly stiff. So I'm, I'm thinking that the combination of this brush like going round this way, and of course the spin scrub brushes rotating at the same time, that should provide excellent cleaning. You've also got static brushes either side to help clean up to the edge. 
Now one thing you always get with carpet washers, and most of them, you always get part that's not cleaned. And as you can see here, there is a part that doesn't have rotating brushes, but Vax have put a little static brush there to help sort of compensate for that. But behind this part that you've got no brushing, you've still got the full width spin scrub brushes. So I think you're going to get full width cleaning with this machine. So it looks promising before I've even switched it on. It seems quite robust. So, so far, so good. Okay, let's assemble this bad boy. Well, there seems to be very little assembly. I think it's just a question of putting the handle on. So obviously the handle goes with the hook and this little handle lock to the back of the machine. So we'll just locate the handle here. Now just be sure there's a little piece here that needs to go into that hole there. So just make sure before you sort of ram it home that that is going in the hole. And it is. Push it right down and then all we have to do is turn this from the open padlock position to the locked padlock position. And that's it. That's all the assembly apart from we need to put the clean water tank on top of the machine. Here is the clean water tank. It's got a nice handle which is obviously useful because you need to carry that to your sink to fill it one side with water and one side with solution. And that should just go on. That's it. That just clicks on the top there, so all very straightforward. That's it, fully assembled. And at the back, of course, we've got the top hook here, which you need to wind the cord around. That moves down so you can release the cord in one go to start your cleaning. And there's another hook here, a grey fixed hook at the bottom. So an 8 metre cord, which is good. So my mum does have rather a large through living room. So an 8 metre cord will be useful for that. But the more cord you get, unless you live in a very tiny home, it, it is useful. And 8 metres, I think, is, is a good length of cord. 10 metres would be even better, but 8 metres is better than some. So I do believe that certainly for cleaning the largest room in my mum's house, which is the living room, I won't have to change sockets. I'll just plug it into the central socket and then I should be able to clean everywhere. There's no, that's just a little little niggle, but there's nothing to, to hold the flex. The way I've, I've wrapped it round, if I wrap it the other way it might be better. It's, it's, just have to do this, sort of tuck it around like that so it holds it, well it's not going to hold it very well. So that's a little niggle, I would have liked to have seen something to hold the plug. But it, this is one vacuum I didn't, well carpet washer I didn't pay for, my mum paid for it, but obviously we still want it to work well. But that's it, that's fully assembled, the Dual Power Pro. Okay, I'll just take you through the main features and functions of this cleaner, and later on I'll be doing you a full demo. Right, so here's everything I've taken out of the box. Very important instruction manual. The storage bag, which will hold the hose and I expect it'll hold the two accessories. The hard floor squeegee attachment. Two bottles, 250ml bottles of Ultra Solution. And of course, the Dual Power Pro carpet washer itself. So, let's have a look in a bit more detail at this machine. So far it does seem pretty robust. And I'll just, just lift it up. Now I assume you can lift it up from the handle. The handle that forms the handle of the dirty water tank. I'm assuming I can use that. So, I'm not going to lie to you, that is heavy. That's empty and that's heavy. I would probably say it's, it's probably heavier than my mum's old carpet washer. So, you know, if you want something lightweight, 
then this is probably not the machine. If you've got a larger home with pets especially, then this might be the machine for you. But it's certainly not light. But for me, when I'm cleaning carpets, I've, I feel I need something heavy and you feel it's really doing its job. If, it's, if it feels too light, you feel, oh, it's just skimming across the carpet. It's, it, it might not be. It might just be a psychological thing. But to me, if it feels quite robust as you're using it, you know, you think, oh, it's, it's really digging down into that carpet. And actually the weight, apart from, of course, it needs to clean well. There's two important factors with a carpet washer. Obviously, you want it to clean the carpet well. You want it to remove the stains. You want it to remove deep down dirt. That's very important. But what's equally important is how dry it leaves the carpet, how much suction there is to remove the dirty water. Because obviously, you want as much dirty water removed from the carpet so the carpet dries quickly, but also it, it's, it restores the pile because if it's not sucking up all the water, it's basically leaving dirty water in the carpet, isn't it? So that, of course, is something I'll be looking at in more detail. So I've shown you the nozzle. This is a suction nozzle where all the dirty water gets sucked up into the tank. And I showed you that that can easily be removed for giving it a good clean. This is the tool port for attaching the stretch hose. Dirty water tank. Clean water tank with the rinse mode which means when it's in wash mode it automatically mixes the neat shampoo with the water as you're cleaning when you turn it to rinse it's just putting clean water onto the carpet now it does say actually on here stretch hose for cleaning stairs hmm not sure about that it'll clean some of the stairs I don't think it's going to clean all of them you will see the top of the tank, so water that side, solution that side. Now I did have a comment or two on another video I did about how much how how much solution you put in the clean. This is for the Jewel V Advance. And the viewer suggested that you should dilute the solution first before putting it in here. But I've always, always put neat solution. When the machine has an auto mix feature, that was the whole point for me. All you do is you just pour neat solution into here, water, warm water into there, and the machine does everything. And then back say in the instructions for this model and the uh, Jewel V Advance to if you leave any solution, if you've got any left, you can tip it back in the bottle. Well, if you've already diluted that and you're tipping it back into the bottle, well, you're putting diluted solution back into the bottle. So the next time you take solution out of the bottle, it's already partly diluted, and then you're diluting it some more. So you can see what I mean. But apparently this viewer contacted Vax, and they said, oh, yes, you need to dilute it. Well, Vax, if you're watching, please confirm this. The instructions, I've just checked the instructions for this. It just, it's very, it doesn't say, I mean, I would have thought... If you're supposed to dilute the solution in these auto mix tanks, it would say in the instructions, it would say, add, uh, you know, for example, let's say, for example, it takes 500 mil of solution. I don't know how much it does, but let's say it does. So if it does, Vax, and you have to dilute it, Vax may say, pour 200 mil of solution, top it up with 300 mil of water then put clean water in the other part but it doesn't all it says and it's basically what it said for the other machine here we are filling the water and solution tank it shows you how to open the tank it just says pour required amount of carpet cleaning solution into tank tighten cap before returning to, to unit so it just says required required amount and to me that means if you're going to be doing a lot of carpet then obviously fill it up more or less to the top if you think you're going to be using it all up but if you're just going to do a small room or just a quick spillage then just put a little bit of solution in that is what to me that's what that reads uh, then it says to fill the clean water tank with warm water maximum 40 centigrade and then it shows you putting the tank back on turn to wash for washing and then, and then you're ready to go. So Vax, if any of you are watching from Vax, please 
confirm or deny or tell us? Because to me, the instructions aren't clear. I've always read it that you put neat solution into here. You do not dilute it because the Automix technology dilutes it for you. That's what I've always thought with any machine that has this sort of system. It's, I've always, always put completely neat from the bottle into the solution tank and warm water into the water tank. Perhaps I've been doing it wrong, but if I have, this, the instructions do need to say. So looking at the machine, I'll just tilt it back. So it's basically, it, it feels to me like a quite a large upright vacuum cleaner. The one advantage of this over some models that have, some models you have the hose all built on and you can't take it off, at least with this you've got all the hose and everything separate, so that isn't adding to the weight. Anyway, you've got two large pedals, one that says handle release, let's get that cable out of the way, one says handle release and one is your off and on. So with your foot you can release the machine into the operating position and then of course you press down again to turn the cleaner on. So they're the controls you need to worry about and then of course the other control is your trigger to release the shampoo onto the carpet. Now I seem to remember you obviously you're not wanting to apply the shampoo all the time. That's do say in the instructions. I'll go through this in the full demo um, when I actually test this cleaner. Right, well I've plugged the machine in. I've just switched it on to gauge its noise levels and as I expected it is quite noisy as most carpet washers are. But it's not a job you're doing every day or not even every month, it depends on how dirty your carpets are but um, yes it is quite quite a noisy cleaner. I also noticed when I turned it on and I did, I did expect this would be the case when it's in the upright position the brushes remain stationary because obviously if you're say using the hose and you're cleaning some upholstery or going part way up the stairs because I'm sure this model won't go fully up the stairs obviously when the machine is stationary on a carpet you do not want it agitating in one place because it could damage the carpet you obviously need to keep the machine moving when you're using it so as a safety little feature it's, it shuts off um, I'm assuming it might be a separate motor, I'm not sure um, because I know on the Vaxo Oasis Complete the spin scrub brushes were actually powered by the um, airflow they didn't have a separate motor but I think this possibly will have, I'm not sure without sort of opening it up so anyway, in the upright position these brushes remain stationary so I can't show you them spinning if I go like this and turn the machine on you will see that they remain stationary let me just uh, tilt it for you. There we go. So if I turn it on now, obviously they're going to remain stationary because I have got the machine, although I've tilted it back, it's still in the locked upright position. So I do need to put it into the operating position. And that's as far as it goes. <clears throat> I should have really angled the camera there. That's about as far as it goes. So you can't go lower than that. If you go lower, obviously it's going to lift the brushes off the floor or carpet. And even if you press the release again, it won't. So it's not going to get right under furniture, but you know, whenever I'm doing a full deep clean, I tend to move as much furniture out of the way as possible anyway. So now I've got the machine tilted. We should be able to look at the action of the brushes now. So if I turn it on, we should be able to see both these brushes rotating. Now that, yes, that's very noisy, as I'm sure you agree. But yes, that did seem... I'm quite impressed by the stiffness of these brushes. I wasn't expecting them to be quite this stiff. And even on these spin scrub brushes, they seem stiffer than on, on say the um, Vax Dual V Advance that I've tested. So the combination of the two sets of brushes I think will do a superb job. Let's just see those in action once more. So, yes, 
I think, I think it's going to do a good job. Let's hope so. Just see if I can gauge the suction power. Of course, nothing, it's not scientific, but I'll just, using my experience, just see what it feels like. Well, <clears throat> not great, not great. Let me just reach over for the hose. Pop the hose in. It's a little bit stiff, but it is new, so... Is it in yet? I think that's in. Now actually with the hose attached, that's not bad. That's quite powerful for an upright carpet washer. I didn't show you the handle end of the hose. Oh, what I can show you before I go is the spin scrub hand tool. So that's the spin scrub hand tool attached to the end of the hose. Here we have the trigger. So obviously when you're using it with the hose, the shampoo solution is directed through the hose and to this little jet, this orange jet here. And to control the solution, oops, got a, oh, got a bit, of, bit of water coming out there, obviously from the factory, just to test it, I think. This hasn't been used, it's definitely fresh from the factory, but obviously I think they do have to run some tests through all these units. So that's where the solution fires out behind the nozzle. Obviously the dirty solution is sucked up through the front. You can see it because it's all clear, you can see it going up through there. And when I turn it on we should see the spin scrub brush on the hand tool rotate. It is rotating, it's a, it's a little little quirk of the camera. It does, maybe it appears to be rotating quite slowly when you, you're actually seeing it, but it does go quite fast. Might slow down as I, I, I use it against the carpet, but that's not too bad. And of course we can attach for surfaces that don't require a brushing action, well, um, a motorised brushing action. We've got this smaller hand tool that might be more suitable for your upholstery and other areas, but possibly this for your stairs if they're quite matted and dirty, perhaps that's the best one to try on your stairs first. But you've also got the option of this. Oh, this actually rotates, so that's good. Rotates both ends actually, the machine end and the handle end, so that shouldn't tangle up. But as I said, this is no way is this a stair cleaning hose. So it's, this is not 4.6 meters. I will have to measure that. Um, so that is a bit misleading on the box. So I'm not very, not very pleased about that. So when I do clean the stairs for my mum, I don't know how I'm going to do that because you can only go. I think this is only going to go halfway up before I can't reach anymore and it means putting the machine at the top of the stairs to do the other half but then it's a bit dangerous although saying that I mean this it would take a lot of force I think to actually even shift this machine that's one thing it does feel like it's planted on the ground so when you're using the hose it, it, will, it will probably pull along a bit but I mean you have to give it a good yank to to move it so it does seem quite secure Let's just take the hose out for now. There we go. And we'll make sure that is closed when you're not using the hose, because if you leave it partly open, obviously the suction will be reduced at the cleaning head. And obviously you need that to be working for when you're washing your carpets or your hard floors. And of course for the hard floors you would need to use this squeegee, which I haven't checked the instructions yet. But I'm assuming that's the way it must go on. Let me just tilt the machine back for you and have a look. Hang on a minute. Again, I'll show you all this in the demo. I will have studied the instructions thoroughly, as I suggest you do if you decide to get this model. Oh, there we are, that's gone on. 
So now we've got a squeegee at the front to assist in drying of hard floors. Obviously you do not want that when you're doing carpets, you don't want that on there. So all those bits, hopefully, and before I go I'll just check that hopefully all the little cleaning tools will fit inside this tool bag. I know the hose fits in it because the hose was in it when I unboxed the cleaner. So in goes the hose, in goes the spin scrub hand tool, in goes the regular hand tool, in goes the squeegee, and possibly if I lean over, might even get a couple of bottles of the shampoo in, but I'm not bothered about that, they can just go under the sink. But yes, you can certainly get easily all the tools that come with the machine. You can keep those separate, keep those out of the way if you're not using them. And it does help reduce the weight because on my Jewel V Advance, the hose and the tools are stored on board, so it did add to the weight. Of course, you could take them off, but because they're not permanently stored on this machine, it does help to keep the weight down. Although, as I said, it is a hefty, quite a heavy machine. And that's with it empty. When it's got water in it, it will be even heavier. So I would say now, before even using it, if lightweightness is your main concern, possibly this is not the machine to go for. But first impressions, I think it's okay. This is the one I suggested my mum went for. Now mainly because all the other models that were in the, the VAC sale, I had experience of. And there were pros and cons of them all, but I suggested she tried this one because, well, it's the only one that has this dual type brush bar. Obviously, there are other dual power models that have two rows of brushes, but they're, you know, you know the regular rotating like an upright vacuum cleaner. This is the only Vax model. There's several. There's a couple of different variants of this, I believe, but. In the sale, anyway, this is the only one that has both spin scrub and the regular brush. So it's, you know, you've got double whammy there. So all in all, first impressions. It's heavy, it's noisy, it's a beast of a machine. But hopefully, it will be a beast at cleaning as well. Don't forget, please subscribe to my channel and you'll be updated every time I upload a new floor care video. Which will, at some point will include a full demo of this. Now this is not my machine so I won't be um, demoing it very soon but certainly in a few weeks I'll be coming back to my mum's and I'll be trying this out and of course revealing my full results to you in the near future. So until then thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.